I think that the great thing about the internships that I did for my school was that because it's a part of your degree, you're working there for six months at a time, and that really gives you a big time frame to make an impact. For my internships, I mean, I learned a lot from just, you know, the business this side of things, but I think on a personal level, um, you know, something that my dad told me before I started my first internship was pay attention to the managers and try and figure out why they are the managers and not somebody else. And I think that from day one was kind of ingrained uh, into my mind, you know, why is that guy the CEO? And I think that a lot of it comes to, you need to be able to delegate things and you need to be a very personable person. Those are the two kind of main traits that I noticed from all the different bosses that I've had and the different CEOs that I've worked under. Um, and especially for my last internship, I worked directly with the CEO and founder of a pretty big startup of about 25 people and we shared an office and there I got a really big insight into how to run a company, how to keep your employees motivated. Um, and I think that him being so personable and being um, you know, really just such a great guy and also very smart, that was kind of, you know, it got people motivated and wanting to wake up in the morning and, you know, work late at night and all that. So I think kind of like my dad's advice coupled with just being surrounded by some great people um, was what uh, definitely that's, that's the biggest lessons that I took from that. And when you're working for a big corporation or a startup, I mean, especially in a startup world, you're living in this kind of roller coaster and you wake up one day and it's all great. And then you wake up another day and it's like, you know, things aren't going your way. Uh, and I think that the biggest thing that I saw from these expert problem solvers was when times were going really well, you can't get too optimistic and too hyped up about that. You have to kind of remain composed. And when things are going bad, you have to kind of stay calm and not panic because especially if the leaders are panicking, then everybody else will, will start to panic. So kind of remaining very composed at all times you know, celebrating things as, as they happen, but remain composed and kind of like a straight line and not get, you know, too involved in the whole roller coaster ride of things. In terms of an internship being good or bad, I think that in no way is it gonna harm anybody. I think that the great thing about the internships that I did for my school was that because it's a part of your degree, you're working there for six months at a time, and that really gives you a big time frame to make an impact and people will trust you with work. If you're doing just a summer internship, for you know, eight weeks, how much work can you actually do, right? They're not gonna give you a four month project if you're only there for eight weeks. So I think that, and I think that this is a problem with education in general, that getting more practical, um, kind of practical, you know, as part of the degree, you have to work for a year to a year and a half in a five year program. That's really beneficial because you kind of figure out what you wanna do and what you don't wanna do. If you're just doing summer internships, I mean, if I went to a regular school, I probably would have become an investment banker because I would have done a couple eight, eight week internships here and there and be like, oh, okay, this isn't so bad. But with six months, you really get to, to get a full picture. But I think getting as much practical knowledge as you can um, straight off the bat is definitely, definitely very beneficial. I came into school and I was studying finance and, you know, call myself a bit of a numbers guy and thought my dad had worked in finance and I thought, okay, this is going to be the path that I'm going to take. And um, I think the best thing that the experience taught me is what I didn't want to do. And I figured out, okay, I don't want to work in finance. Um, and then things just kind of happened. And I mean, I couldn't be happier with the path that I'm on right now. I mean, it's completely changed my life. I definitely want to keep working for startups. This is 100% not the first company that I'll, not the last company that I'll start. Uh, it's the first, but not the last for sure. Um, and my family is extremely supportive. They 100% supported us the whole way, moving to LA, which is obviously a big move, um, you know, because my family is in Europe, so it's even further away. Um, so yeah, I mean, they've been really supportive of, of the whole thing.